What's going on everyone? Welcome to Box Attack. I'm Dom and today I've got a little bit of a haul for you. Some things that I have picked up recently and uh, they're not all pops so stay tuned for that. But the first thing actually that I'm, I'm kind of excited about is the glow in the dark vulture from Spider-Man Homecoming. Now the box isn't in perfect condition but I'm, I'm okay with that. I really just wanted the glow in the dark pop for my glow display which I'm working on too and if you want to see a video on that leave a thumbs up. Um, this is a glow in the dark pop though as I mentioned and I have a lot of the other ones from Spider-Man Homecoming so uh, I, I, like I said it's got a little bit of you can see the ding right here it's it's not perfect but it is an older pop 2017 actually is when this was released this was exclusive to GameStop I got it um, from an international retailer uh, for really stupid cheap so it was just worth having for for the glow display not gonna get too in-depth with uh, with that guy right here but a couple of new ones that I did pick up both box lines exclusive actually the first one is the purple flocked scooby-doo uh, like you can see here the box launch exclusive and meals 10 meals it says are donated with this purchase so I think it's pretty cool that they do that kind of stuff um, get a flock pop and donate some meals let's just bust them out real quick and take a short quick look at him so I do want to see this flocked pop here look at that that's pretty fuzzy yeah pretty cool Got the nice little flapped over ear. Obviously they have a lot of different colors of flocked Scooby-Doo Pops and I don't have any of the other ones, but you know what? It's a good cause, box lunch, and the Pop's pretty cool. So just a nice uh, nice little pick up there. I was able to scoop up online when those dropped uh, not too long ago. So Scooby-Doo flocked from box lunch. And then as you can see there, I do have another box lunch exclusive. Wow, that might've been kind of loud. Uh, we have um, the Haunted Mansion Groundskeeper, and there's really nothing special about this. Uh, there's, it's not glow in the dark. It's, uh, you know, he's just, he's just the groundskeeper for the Haunted Mansion. Uh, this is a Disney pop, obviously, part of the new uh, lineup here, which we have um, these three right here, and then we have Madame Leota, which I actually have the Disney Park exclusive version of uh, back down there on on my shelf. You can't actually see it, but she's. She's just right down there. There you go. Um, <laughs> I show that off in another video too. If you want to see that one, uh, check the link below. Uh, but the groundskeeper, like I said, nothing special. I was just, I was at box lunch and they happened to have it. And I'm just kind of one of those suckers who does a lot of impulse buying with these things. But you can see he's pretty cool. He's got a shovel, a little lantern. Uh, I mean, not really much to make glow on this. They could have made the little lantern glow. That would have been a nice, random touch there uh, but yeah he's just he's just an old dude he's the groundskeeper for the haunted mansion so that's pretty much sums up that i mean i think they're cool i don't have all of the haunted mansion pops i don't really plan on collecting all of them either um, but there are a couple of favorites that i have and uh the glow in the dark madame leota from uh, disneyland was definitely one of them so these are the pops i picked up i want to get into one other thing all right, so a lot of you guys know I am a fan of Tiny Ghost, and I have a couple of new ones here. Uh, this one on the left is kind of old. This is the limited Dawes edition. I, I believe both of these are limited to 400. Um, and then this is Geek Culture right here. You can see the names of them on the top of the box. If you like Tiny Ghost though and you want to check them out, definitely hit the link in the description. Um, the company that makes these is called Bim Toy. It's bimtoy.com. And, uh, Let's go ahead and open this. I like Dawes. I have actually, they make enamel pins as well. I have the pin uh, for this one. Pop him out of there. You can see here, it looks like a shark, right? Like it's got, a, you know, kind of a sad shark, I guess, if you ask me. But it does look like a shark. And this came out right around Shark Week, I believe, which was, in my opinion, pretty genius marketing for them, putting out, uh, you know, a shark ghost now uh, one th complaint that I have heard about tiny ghosts is that they're just a lot of the same molds with the, the same mold with different paint jobs yes that is true I mean I have a lot of them on the on the back right here you can see but I just I personally like how they can they get very creative with with the paint there to make them look different um, so that that's what I enjoy about them but we do have like I said the geek cult edition I think I said culture before but Excuse me on that, Geek Cult Edition. This one is pretty sweet too because the paint on here, it's all black as you can see, but it's got like metallic paint to it. And we have like random logos in here. Like uh, we have Batman, we have Star Wars. Uh, what else do we have here? We have Doctor Who, Spider-Man, 
and just a, a bunch of other random logos in there. Let me know which one of these you spot uh, as far as the logos go in the comment section. And then we have the Illuminati. So basically all these lead up to the little Illuminati triangle there. Uh, essentially, that's that's what I'm gathering from how this is put together. But yeah, these they don't have any numbering on the bottom or anything like that, and it's kind of hard to see on the black version, but we do have Bim Toy right there and the website. Uh, we don't have the website, actually. We have Bim Toy and Tiny Ghost, and Reese O'Brien is the name of the guy who actually uh, designs these, and he's like the, the creator, I guess, if you want to call it that. Oh, we do have another, I know it's a little controller right there as well. These things are pretty cool though. I don't know, that I, I think that they're awesome anyway. Um, I think that this, I'm, I'm pretty happy with a lot of these pops. Mainly, the, I guess if I had to pick two things that I'm the most happy about, it would definitely be the Dawes Tiny Ghost and the Vulture pop, the glow in the dark pop that I picked up because like I said, that glow display, leave a thumbs up if you wanna see a video about all that. But I wanna know what your favorite thing that I scooped up is. Drop a comment below, let me know. And if you're new around here, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos like this drop in the future. And also big shout out to everybody over on Patreon, part of the Box Attack Army. They get pops sent to them every month out of my collection. And if you wanna join up and be a part of that whole thing too, definitely click the link below as well as the link to the Box Attack Universe Facebook group. Leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it as well. As always, I really appreciate the support. I'm, I'm pretty happy with these uh, these tiny ghosts too, if you, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching everyone. Once again, this has been Box Attack, I'm Dom, and we'll catch you later.